Hi, this is Tanya with River Run Creative, and today I'm going to teach you about praying for your students. Whether you are teaching in a brick and mortar school, or online, or homeschool, or a small group like your church or your community, after school program, something like that, these will help any student. For instance, we have 1 Corinthians 2.16 that says, we have the mind of Christ. Some versions say, with the thoughts, purposes, and intents of his heart, which is always a good thing to pray. But I like to tell my students that verse as appropriate and say, you're a genius in Jesus. Because if you have the mind of Christ, he's the anointed one, the creator of the universe and everything in it, including you. And he is the ultimate genius. So when we have his mind thinking through us, that we can do anything. Where do you think all these cool inventions come from? They came from the mind of Christ. Now, the devil perverts them and man does terrible things with some of them. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about things that are good, that are helpful to mankind. And I've discovered many talents in many of my students and I have been surprised at some of the amazing genius potential. It's there, so we want to make them aware of it and help them to harness it and develop it and do good things. So that's another form of encouragement when we pray for our students and they know that we're praying for them. And there is a way that we can insert those seeds and let them know that either we're people of prayer or that we're praying for them as appropriate. The Lord gives us wisdom about when to speak and when to not speak about these things. Although in my opinion, as Psalm 24 one says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all the peoples therein. And we should have the right to speak about the Lord whenever we want, as we want, in the right manner, as He leads. So He can make a way when there seems to be no way. But even if you think you can't blatantly tell your students that you're praying for them or that you're even a person of prayer, then you can still pray for them and that's what this is about. So you pray for your students to have the mind of Christ. Also to have great peace, to be obedient to the Lord, to fear the Lord, to have quick understanding, excellent spirit, and to be 10 times better than all their peers, to be confident, not in themselves, but in the Lord, to have satisfaction in their work, to have merry hearts that doeth good like a medicine, to give the Lord thanksgiving and praise, to have joy, to let peace rule in their hearts and be thankful. And I'm not giving you the verse scriptures on most of these because, first of all, I don't know where all of them are, but I know they're in there. That's the main thing. But I hope to inspire you to go research these and find these jewels for yourself. That way you can, you can pray them over yourself and your own family, plus your students. And as another scripture says that I don't have the address for it, but I know that's in there. When we pray for others to be healed, we will be healed ourselves. So go for it. You can never waste time in prayer. God bless you. Bye-bye and happy teaching.